Okay, ladies, one of my favorite things to do is to put together a theme and kind of role play and act it out. Even when it comes to my little girl's birthdays, it's a unicorn theme or a panda theme, I'm going to go all the way. Today, I'm going for Victoria's Secrets Angels, like back in the day when we lived for the shows, the runway shows. I think this one is absolutely adorable. It's a dream. And even better, it's 100% glueless. And when I say glueless, I mean literally she's not bonded down. And not only is she not bonded down, even the hairline is like pre-plucked to perfection. So this glueless goddess here comes courtesy of RPG Show Lifestyle. They sent her over and I feel like they customized it for me. They really didn't, but it feels like a custom fit. Like it definitely feels super glueless. The length, the cut, everything about this one is absolutely flawless even the color just feels like it is so warm and sun-kissed against my complexion trying to get to palm springs and vegas and disneyland before the month of august is out it's time for back to school but i really want to go out with a bang with my kids for the summer so this one is definitely going to pop out over the summer and i'm definitely bringing her with me she'll be cute poolside she'll be cute with my little mickey ears inside all of the above so i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial be sure to check her out direct link in the description box and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the install okay ladies let's get right into it i'm in my baldy but we're gonna just go ahead and pull her out this here is the star of the show this one here is a designer light chestnut brown layered curtain bang wavy lace front wig and this is a look at the inside construction of the cap it does include this adjustable elastic band it's nice and sturdy and i like them when they're a little bit thin so it's not a big old you know band across the back of my nape here is what she looks like on and i'm feeling her i'm gonna take my wig brush and just comb through and detangle as much as i can as you guys can see i'm really just worried about the curls deciding you know am i gonna have to recurl it touch up the curls what is going on with the curls and what i've realized about this one is you don't have to do anything at all give it a light little fluff and literally the curls are there they're not going anywhere super excited about that as well as the feather bang but i really wanted to know what was underneath the feather bang and as you guys can see flawless lace a flawless hairline this one literally looks bomb even when you pull her back. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how I style her when I don't want the bangs and I just want her out of my face so that you can see and accentuate that hairline. As you guys can see, the curls are popping. You don't have to touch them up at all. It's a 16 inch wig, so it's a perfect length to combat the heat and it's a perfect transition into fall. I'm going to pull the hair back with these clips so that I can go in and just cut off the hairline or the excess lace in the hairline. And as you guys can see, I'm doing little snips because I don't want it to be too perfect. Kind of want it a little bit jagged to help camouflage everything. Here is a good look at the lace itself and you guys can see it blends like a dream. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the remainder of the lace and as you guys can see, she definitely fits glueless. The lace here is Swiss lace. It's a 13 by 6 lace front wig in, a, in the density 200%. When you pull a little bit of that hair forward, you can see how well they pre-plucked this one. Literally, I mean, I can say it a million times, but no work needed. It's absolutely flawless. So let's go ahead and remove all of those clips and just go ahead and style her. We're obviously skipping the entire install process, which is a dream to not have to do any of that at all. I'm going to go in and do just a little bit of customization by adding a little bit of wax, pairing it with the electric hot comb on a high heat setting. This combination is what I like to call the dynamic duo. And here is where I just really, really stamp out that parting and make it as flat and smooth around the hairline as well as the lace parting as possible. With the shape of my head, this is essential just to give it more of a natural look. And then I'm just going to take my flat iron and kind of just bump the bang. Honestly, you didn't have to do this at all, but it just was kind of a step, a customization step for me that kind of just gave it my own little look. Now, when you're doing fringe bangs or any kind of bangs like this where they're super long, you got to have to decide like where your wig should sit. Can you pull it forward? Should you pull it back? The key is to not have to cut them at all because you kind of want to keep that length. I'm also going to go ahead and customize the parting with a little bit of cream foundation just to give it again my own custom look and then set it off with a little bit of oil sheen. 
here I'm showing you guys how I wear her when I just need a break from the bangs. We've all been there where we wanted the bangs so bad, but then we wanted like a day or just a moment to kind of pull them out of your face. And as you guys can see, use a better clip, but the hairline is so beautiful that even with it out it being bonded down, it kind of just has this nice natural look and you don't have to do anything at oh, all. Ladies, I'm done with the look. I just finished it off with a little bit of oil sheen. It didn't really need much. I didn't even really need the oil sheen to be honest, but you guys know I'm extra. I like to just finish the wig and give you guys a little something something. Now I did fire up my wand curler because I was planning on touching up the curls. When you really like comb it out, you realize you don't have to touch up anything. Even the bang, I could have left it as is, but it just, the urge to go in and like customize it is always with me. Now if I did not mention this one did come from RPG show lifestyle. And this is the packaging. You guys know that signature packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I love, 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 love this design. It's just so classy. And then, of course, the tissue paper inside is all logo embossed as well with that sticker there. And this is like my um, wig was like happily, um, you know, like living inside of there. And then inside, they did hook us up with a little bit of goodies. So I guess I can share that with you guys. This here is your, like, your info card, your receipt. Um, this one here is a silky straight 16 inch size one cap, 13 by six Swiss lace front wig, 200% density. Um, it is tinted transparent Swiss lace in the color medium brown. Yeah, and then the color is the same as picture. So when you go to the website, when you try to choose the color, it does come in a few different color options. Mine won't be black or brown or one B or anything like that. It'll say same as picture, you click that. And that's how you get this color combo here, which is absolutely adorable. And then also here is a pack of brown wig caps. Their magazine, which how dope is that? Name another brand brand that has their own magazine you get your thank you card and the last most most certainly not least you do get a dust bag so it's always good to have a little home a little space friendly home for your wig and so this one here is a nice really good quality on it and it does say beautiful rpg show lifestyle absolutely gorgeous but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go be sure to check this one out there's a direct link in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches